And here we go, the game started and we really wanted to go and put some action into these two players. Uh, this is a big walking map, so if you can see, this is not like closed positions. Uh, and interestingly, Blah just figures it out and off goes his observer to go and look at Axer's base. And this might be an interesting drop action going on. If he can go and just go back silently, he can then really tech up really quickly and see what it is. Bla loves his Baneling, so let's see if he actually goes uh, any of Baneling action during this entire game. Uh, there goes the first Supply Depot right on time. Um, you should be able to go and see that it's pretty much the same kind of supply differential which comes in. Let's see if he actually goes and does the extractor trick to go ahead and squeeze a little bit out. No, but he's he's fine. He's I don't think he's going to go to anything like that. Three more drones coming in, uh, and no, he doesn't wait for it. The overlord just says oh, la 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 la. I am the big overlord, and he went goes all over the base. Hopefully, try and poop all over it. Um, the barracks actually goes and stops the main there'll be an s there'll be another supply depot which will come down here uh, the expansions getting scouted out and there goes the expansion uh, it's actually a very same time he's seen how many um, scvs are there he's expected that these two would be out another drone comes in and tries to go and look what's going to happen here so this is a very rational very strong expansion by blah to go see what's happening. Down goes the spawning pool. The spawning pool is not that early, right? So you go ahead and look at that. This is the 15 pool. 14, 13 hatch, 14, 15 pool expansion. And this is going to be interesting. And here comes... Is he actually going and trying and going and like sniping this? There he goes. Marines just walked out, which is interesting. Where he should say, oh... Maybe this is some bunker action. There goes the bunker. There goes the bunker. And I knew that this was happening. As soon as I saw that the barracks, barracks has gone down here. This is some big action coming up. Let's see what's going to happen. If he can finish the bunker. And there goes the, S the drones trying to go ahead and uh, have a deny. He's going to move out. But depends whether he can go ahead and come and get back in. He is. He is. I think he is. If he goes back in, he does. He does. Uh, he does go back. He's, he needs to send that in. And there goes the... Oh god, this is this is good, this is good. There he goes, there he goes. Now this is going to be strong. Let's see if he can go ahead and follow it up. There's another uh, Marine comes in. There comes the next Marine. And there's another SCV, another SCV to go ahead and support this. This is going to be enough. There comes another one. There's come some couple of spines. But I don't think he's just taken this down. I don't think he should attack. He's just going to be... Oh, there... Oh, is he? Yes. Is he? Is he not? Oh, yes, he is. There goes the second... And let's see if he's going to go ahead and scout that. This is going to be very strong. This is going to be a really strong action. Uh, these are going to be denied. This is definitely going to be denied. I don't know whether this is... Oh, there he goes. There's, is is, is the stim ready? No, he's just going to pull everything back. He's, he is, he is. And there he goes. And there comes the spine. I don't know whether this is going to be successful or not. There, but he's supporting it. He's definitely going and supporting this with more Marines who are pouring in. Let's see if Akshar can go ahead and win this. There's another one ready. These guys are all in there. There, this is repositioning. Oh god, that, that's a poke. That's a big poke in the eye. But this hatchery is not going to survive. I think he's going to go and try. There he goes. There's more zerglings coming in. If he can go ahead and go ahead and counter this and he can go back. This is this is this is a strong push. This is there he comes. Ah they gotta die. They all gotta die. This is And this is I knew this is gonna try and push back. Maybe he should go ahead and just push into his base. If he can go ahead and protect this and get a marine standing behind this, this is gonna be strong enough to go ahead and protect him. Oh, uh, they should try and repair this, but it's not really happening. They're not repairing this too much. There he goes. That, that, that's going to be done. That's just going to be knocked out. This going to the, the queen's not going to feel happy. This queen's definitely not happy that she's getting this. Where is this? Oh, this, so these floor zerglings, that is this. And he's just going to be sitting outside and this. Oh, there, that's getting knocked out. This is fine. Even if they go back up, they really can't do anything. They can go ahead and pre prevent an expansion, but I don't know whether this is going to be successful. These are two of these guys here. They're all going to be moving up very quickly. And this is, and this is just a move back. Interesting. 
Now this denial, if during this time, let's see what he's been building. There's 390 minerals here, or 150 here. All of these guys are going to just walk here. And this would be a good time to go and see if anything's coming back. And this another hatchery comes in. But let's see if Akshar can go his standard expansion. There is a command center. And if you go ahead and look at number of units lost, you have 21 units hit and 7 here with 2-2 two, two workers hit. And if you go ahead and look at the number of... Oh, this, the speed comes in. This, and this is, this is not looking good at all. If you look at it, this, is really weak for a Zerg. Although he's heavy on gas. I think he should have moved these guys away from gas anyway, but he didn't. And this is just about 100 gas he's sitting on. And he keeps on expanding these. Wait. Uh, the number of units versus this, 23 versus 27, and that's fine. But this is the problem right now that he is facing. And this is the kind of expansion which is there. That's the kind of returns that are actually happening. And let's see whether this in the initial push, where the map control has now been ceded back to... This is going to be interesting. These, these are a lot of Marines, and they really need something called... Stim pack and the stim packs just begun and he didn't notice that too much. I think this is the time for him to go. Rager has left the game. <laughs> a lot of people call Rager <laughs> Mr. Ditcher. I don't know whether that is there, but Rager decided to leave the game. Um, interestingly, this is Akshar going to be coming down here and he's going to jump it down. This Zergling comes down here and this gets scouted out. And, um, and let's see if he can ramp up. This is 56 and 62 and 42 on 44. The Terran is really going and gaining control of the map, uh, the control of the game. All the map controls still very effectively out with blah. And this might be an interesting move. He says, look, this is this is not happening, and the only way he can go and get away is get a spire going. But this does take an enormously long time to go ahead and do. This is takes like 400 million years, according to me, and during this time if there was an expansion this would have been really easy to get. But those are out and and this is nice this is this is something which i still don't know where this is going to go there are this, there's two technology trees that he's pursuing and both of them require a lot of gas but for a person who requires a lot of gas he's not going and building anything here and although this is a good saturation level that is happening I don't think that is effective enough. Another Bainley Nest comes in. If he re really needs to have more gas coming here, but that's just my opinion. Um, if you actually look at what's going to be happening here, there is this huge army just standing outside the gate. And there's, it's going to stim really quickly. You, I, I bet. Oh, one, two, three. Stim. 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 Oh god, he didn't stim at all during this entire time. There he goes. There goes the stim. And that's perfect if he can go ahead and avoid. Oh, that's, uh, oh god, no, that was... Uh, oh no, he should move back. Oh no, oh no. Oh, that's great split. Great split by Axar. I know he did. I know, this is just going to be wiped out by these guys. I think he should just get these guys back. No, he's going to die if he doesn't go at... <laughs> no, he's on my... <laughs> this guy just dimmed and ran to the Zelnaga tower. And that's an end. But during this time, that's happened. Interestingly, if you look at this, this he's going for centrifugal hooks along with brutalists. Right? So, if you look at what that entire tech tree gives you, there, these will be really a lot of banelings coming down, moving really fast in the creep. But the problem of uh, doing this is... A, he doesn't have too many uh, actual units going and fighting this. Plus B, he doesn't have any creep. There is no creep here. There is no creep here. And these guys really need to walk across here. So let's see what he can do with a little bit of harassment coming over here. Um, straight down here, I think he should be. He will pick this off. But I, I don't think he should have. Well, that didn't do too much damage. He was this guy was walking and moving back. But he has one in this. Moving a lot of these guys. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One kill. 
three kills, one kill, one kill. And if you look at what he lost, well, it's three versus eleven, not too many. And I actually thought he would have lost more, but that that's not really the case. Um, these guys are sitting here and they should go ahead and be warping in vein links, but lots more mutilists coming here. And let's see what it is. This, this turret's going to get knocked down and he cancels this sufficiently in time. The reactor is going to go down if he doesn't cancel it. I think he should cancel that. Well done, he does. And let's see what, what the action's really going to be here. And these guys are, uh, he's going to push everyone back. The tech lab's going to go down, but there was nothing really building in here. So that's not really happening. Let's see if we can finish this on time. So shields definitely finish. These guys are going to go down really, really, really easily. Uh, I don't understand why he's not pushed off enough, but he has. These guys are just going to just knock these guys off like from the sky. And this might... No, not really. 